guys, it's X Mirror Mirror, and here I am today with the Black Simmer. I'm going to go through this as quick as possible to show you guys how to navigate your way around the website and what exactly every section is and what I plan to do. So let's get down to it. General discussion is the section where people discuss general subjects. It would typically be sim subjects, but at the moment, general discussion and the chill spot are kind of interchangeable, but... I'm telling you guys now, general discussion is supposed to be for general sims, news, and topics. I'm going to be updating that today to be more detailed. And the chill spot is for subjects outside of the sims. So either you'll see posts being moved around and deleted if they don't match the section that they're in. The resources section is a section I created this week um, with tutorials tips from members members are providing tips tutorials how to do different things how to create custom content how to share custom content how to maintain your custom content and it's just starting to develop so you know if you have something to contribute feel free to start a topic in order to start a topic you click new topic right and when you click new topic, you could either write in the time, get your title in there, whatever you have to say, preview it to make sure it looks right. And then post. If you're interested in adding a photo, I highly recommend the website imager. Um, photo bucket is now just implemented a new price bracket where they're trying to charge people over $400, around $400 for third party hosting. So if you use photo bucket, to upload your content to the Black Simmer, you have to go and update your CC ASAP. I don't want to delete anyone's CC, but nobody, no one can, you know, download content that they can't see what it is. Um, so you would go to Imager, you would upload your photo, use direct link, and then you would paste it in between those once you click preview to make sure it's there. And boom, there you have it. Now, as far as... The community find section is a section where if you see some custom content that you like, something that you really love, it could either be something you just discovered or something that is already in your game and you just felt like sharing it with the community, feel free to do so. All that I ask is that you make sure that the links are not dead um, and that it's not a Pinterest link and that is a, there's a photo. Links now with photos, uh, without photos are being deleted and removed and being changed around because people are not gonna, people are less inclined to download things and they can't see what it is. So it's just simple. Throw a picture of the CC. It, if it got eight pictures, it don't matter. Throw one and link. I like this. I, you could either say, I like this item. I just decided to share it or you could just share it because you felt like sharing it. As long as there's a photo and a link that leads to the Tumblr post and the creator, whatever. I don't mind. Um, next section, help me. Do you need help with your game? Is a mod acting up in your game? Is your game crashing? Are you having, you know, an issue, different issues, problems? This is a section where everyone can help each other. This is where a section where users can help each other try to figure out the problem. This is a good way to get your post count up too. If you're interested in engaging and getting your post count up, helping out other people in the help me section of the forums. Um, giving advice, tips, topics, uh, just different things. Uh, my sim is showering with clothes on. Just, just different various issues and things that we have with our games, especially when we implement mods. Now, the next section is CC request CC I would like to see. This is a really good section for people that wanna throw around ideas or specifically they have a request for something. This is also an excellent session section for those who are just getting into custom content creation and they want to find something to create, but they don't know where to start. It's a great section for everybody. Storytelling content creation. Do you have a YouTube channel? Do you create sim stories? Do you write? Do you draw? Do you, are you a streamer? Are you a Twitch streamer, YouTube streamer? Do you create content and it's sims related? Post it there. Uh, the chill spot, like I said, is a place for people to discuss an array of topics that have that, that do not involve Sims, but you will find Sims things in there. I will start organizing the sections a bit better in the coming weeks. CC creators is a place for uh, custom content creators or aspiring custom content creators to learn and share tips and post their work in progresses to get input and advice and criticism so they can build on, you know, expound upon their skills. The vault, this is the section that people come to download content. 
you can, you know, once you get the content, either you can decide that you only want to share it to the black simmer, or if you mainly share content on Tumblr, you can feel free to come and share your content here as well, or wherever you can come and share your content as well, as long as it has a photo and you know, some details, some information and a link leading to it. It's all good. Like I said, photo bucket has updated their website. So if you use photo bucket, I need you guys to come in and update your content. I'm giving a deadline. I'm giving it until, um, the first of next month, everyone needs to update their content or we're going through and we're deleting everything that is not updated with a picture. I'm sorry. And I don't want to have to do that, but it's kind of annoying for people to come through and they see the photo and, or they see the content, but they can't download it because they don't know what it looks like. So by the first of what is this? Oh, well, this is July. By the first of August, everything needs to be updated. Um, I'm trying my best to notify people personally messaging them. I've sent out newsletters. I'm trying my best to, you know, notify people the best way I can. So go on ahead and update that. Um, what else? There's the mod section. Here's the place to discuss mods that you love mods that you want to see created or get help on how to create mods. I even have a little section here where it's how to create mods and lists of places that I found. If you're interested in learning, this actually needs to be updated and, you know, added to different mods, people that, that they want or their favorite mods or, you know what I mean? Different things. Sims three, Sims three. This is a section for the Sims three simmers. If as the Sims three side of the community makes themselves more prevalent, a new board will be created and split up for Sims three simmers. I just wanted to kind of test the waters to see exactly how many Sims three simmers we have in here. And sooner or later I will take a vote. And so we can split the Sims three up into its own uh, separate board. And one of my favorite sections of the website, the, where can I find the, where can I find section you see something fire on the internet. You don't know where the heck to go. You don't know what to do, where the hell to find it. You're, you're lost. You're like, all right, I, I need to know. This is the section you posted. It's best if you can provide a photo so people can really see what you're talking about in detail. Even if it's like, I want locks, right? Now I want dreadlocks for my Sims hair. Even if you could find real life pictures of people that kind of mimic the in-game hairstyles, things of that nature, go on ahead and post it. The only time people will see that their posts get deleted from time to time. Honestly, it's either because you asked for something someone asked for already and we're trying to cut down on duplicate posts or you asked for something that is illegal. So if you see your post has been deleted, it's either one of those two reasons. Um, so go on ahead, use the beautiful search functions. I'm telling you anything you want to find search, search. This search function is amazing. You will find so many different things that has been posted in this form in the past. Um, what is this about a year now? In about the past year, like so many different things people create and share. So use the search functions. If you guys, like I said, if you want to create a new topic, a new topic thing is right. The button is right here. If you want to create a new poll, the section to create a new poll is right there. So what you want to do is let's see. If you want to reply, just click reply right there. People have been clicking report to moderator. No, you click reply. It's a reply right here. It's a reply right there. I see there's this send this topic. You can send it to whoever, but if you want to reply to something, there goes the reply button and you can go to your own profile and edit your settings, account settings. Um, let's see. Here's your information. Here's where if you want to upload an avatar, personal text, your information, your location, gender, if you want to share your social media, create a signature, share your website and your information, this is where you would edit it at under the forum profile settings. I hope this uh, was as detailed as possible. You know, I tried to make it as short as possible, but I hope it was as detailed as possible. Currently, I'm trying to find out how can members change the uh style of the background of the forum because i know this layout most people tend to like this dark layout better but i know some people like they don't like it on their eyes and they want to change it i'm currently right now trying to find out how to make it so that you can change the forum and if you don't have uh, a whole bunch of access to the computer or 
you know, it's not as user friendly to you on the computer. You can visit the tap. You can download the tap a talk app on your phone or your tablet and you can access the black simmer from the tap a talk app and it makes posting way easier. Like I see dozens of people saying like posting on the black simmer is so much easier from the tap a talk app. I could be at work. I could be in the street and I could just be talking in a forum to people it makes it really easier for folks. So you guys can go and check out that Tapper Talk app. Like I said, I got some changes I got to go make to the website, you know, moving around, organizing and splitting things up. I hope this video was informative for you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, visit the website, tell a friend to tell a friend and stay tuned. Bye.